we have a little visitor in the polytunnel. Look at him. He's one of our neighbour's cats. He's absolutely adorable. And um, he's doing a little bit of exploring. <laughs> what a little cutie pie. We always like um, guests like that in our garden. Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now guys, this is day two of our polytunnel and yard um, rearranging because now spring is here and the warm weather's here. We're bringing a lot of the plants out from the house that we've been overwintering into the polytunnel, rearranging all the polytunnel and putting a lot of the, um, the cacti into the yard here. And um, if you haven't seen day one that we did yesterday, links up above to day one. And this is day two. And what we're going to be doing is um, rearranging all of the punctures all into um, one part and um, then doing what we're going to be grouping a lot of the cacti succulents together. And we're going to put a couple of tables at the back of the polytunnel here with the punctures in. So we start, as I say, we're starting off with the punctures today and then um, going to see what else we can get done today. So um, let's get going, guys. It's going to be fun and games. <laughs> so guys, that's us having a busy morning. As you can see, we've made a load of space at the back here. And um, we're going to be putting the two... Um, <laughs> the two uh, tables here to put the punches on and um, Hansi has been uh, working like a trooper. <laughs> it's warm in here so that's why I... <laughs> uh, that's why he's stripping off. <laughs> a little bit late for World uh, Naked Gardening Day yesterday. <laughs> and uh, Thank you all guys for all your amazing comments and especially to Hans wishing him a happy birthday yesterday. It was really kind of you. Beautiful, beautiful comments. We are so and, happy for your interests. Oh, absolutely. And your support, it means so much, guys. And um, I just show we have some bigger punches down here. Everything's all over the place. And as I say, we've just been uh, giving this a bit of a clean up here. And um, going to be putting the punches on. I'll show you what we've done. We've moved a load of the punches, um, all the small ones out here, onto a table. Um, so it's easier for us to go through them and put them all in size order um, back into the polytunnel again. We have a mixture of everything here, as you can see, many different types. <laughs> so we're going to have a, a very busy afternoon now. And I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all rearranged on the table inside the polytunnel. Uh, now, guys, we have just put up the table here to put all the punches on. Yay! And we have got these black trays. Now, these are brilliant, guys. These are actually car boot trays that we got from um, a, a shop tray, a shop chain here called Pound Stretcher. They're common in the, the UK and Ireland. I think in, in the, the south of Ireland, they are called deals. But um, here in Northern Ireland, they're called uh, Pound Stretcher and in the UK. And they're great because it means you don't have to worry about putting saucers on. And you can fit more plants onto the tables. And they're only Come about on, one... Yeah. yeah, they're only about pound ninety-nine. so they're such a great price. And um, they're fantastic because they collect water, completely waterproof. So... Um, if you, if you go on eBay and places like that, you usually pay about five or six pound, but about seven, stir, seven euros for these trays. But in pound stretcher or deals, they are only one, one pound 99 and I think about two euros. So such a bargain, guys. And um, now we're going to be putting all the uh, punchers onto the table. Now, guys, I have just put... Um, We've just put, I should say, the big, large punchers on the back wall here. And I'll just show you what we do. Uh, we love our crystals. And um, we've got a few crystals. These are what um, I actually found on the west coast of Ireland, on the beautiful mountains, in a place called um, County Sligo. And these have got little, beautiful little crystals on here, all inside these, these lovely stones. And we love to put crystals around the plants. It gives them a lovely energy. And it also gives them some support as well. And I have made a video already on how to use crystals with plants. And I know a lot of you will laugh at me, <laughs> but I do love crystals. I, um, I'm actually a crystal therapist, so I do use crystal healing as well on people, as well as on the plants. And um, as I say, links up above to the video I did on how to use crystals with plants. Even if you're not into the um, healing properties of crystals, you'll be pleased to know they look absolutely beautiful arranged around plants. And also stones as well and natural minerals are absolutely gorgeous. So I love to use them around the plants here. 
Now, guys, that's the table all full of the punchers at the back here. And as you can see, we've put the... <coughs> excuse me with this croaky, croaky voice. I'm still getting over my cold. We've got the larger punchers at the back wall here. And the smaller ones we've got towards the front. And as I say, we've got them all on the trays. So um, when it comes to water, we haven't got to worry about the water going everywhere. And um, we've been able to fit quite a lot on here and lots of space still around for the plants to grow. And um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so that's all the punches done. And now we're going to start on rearranging some of the other ones. We're not quite sure what to do yet. We're going to have a little bit of a, a lunch break and decide. And then we've got the underneath of this table here, probably to store some, probably store the extra bubble wrap and uh, things like that underneath. But um, that's great. So that's a good job done. <laughs> now we have got another table up here. This is one of our old tables that um, isn't the most aesthetically pleasing, but it's better than wasting it. We put the black trays on here. And we're going to be using this corner here to put some of the ferro cacti and the echino cactus varieties we've got, all grouping them together on here. And as I say, we've got the trays. So um, that's how it looks now. We're going to show you what it's like when we put, put them all together. Now guys, that's the second table done and we have got a mixture of, um, we have here the Echino Cactus Grusoni at the back here, our big golden bower cactus. We have some Astrophytum and Ferro Cacti here. We've got the largest spiny ones at the back and then the smaller spiny ones at the front here. And we've been wanting to rearrange this polytunnel for so long. This is the only time, obviously with the weather and everything, we have got chance to get it done really properly. And um, as I say, we've got the mostly the big big ones, big barrelly type of cacti here. Um, here we've got some of the ferro cacti, a few different different varieties um, of, of in the genus, all grouped together. And we've got some tello cacti here as well, all together. Now this one here, is actually a um, Carnegie Giganti, um, commonly known as the Big Sawaru Cactus <laughs> that you often see in Arizona and on the older cowboy movies. And this is um, a lovely plant that was gifted to gifted to me by Keith from Groovy Man 1968, and that's doing very well. So we've just put this here with some of the other cacti, the Thellos and the the. the um, Ferro cacti, Thello cacti, and the Gymnocalaceums because it's a spiny one. Here we have the Echino serious, um, different uh, varieties here, and some of the Steno cacti. Here we have um, a few different varieties of the Steno cacti that we've got here as well, and um, there's a couple of Gymnocalaceum there. That's had a bad case of spider mite, but it seems to be healing over well. And some more Gymnocalaceums there, and some more Ferro. And um, basically we've just got them more or less in size order, so it's aesthetically pleasing. And they're all getting plenty of um, daylight as well there. So that's that's table number two done. So just a bit of a show you here. So far today we've done the Apuncha table at the back. And we have done the Ferro Cactus, the, the Fellow Cacti. And also the um, Steno Cacti and the Gimo, Gimola Calicium um, Cacti all grouped together there. So, so far so good. And now we've just got um, to work on all of these and some more in the house to bring out. And then we're going to start work on probably the next table we're going to do is probably the Echinopsis um, varieties and grouping all them together. So that's great. And the weather's been fantastic so far, which is wonderful. Now what we do now, we started on um, the tray plant tray number three and what we've done is we have grouped all the echinopsis together and we're going to be rearranging the echinopsis uh, cacti here obviously so it looks more aesthetically pleasing we're just grouping everything together for now and then i um, going to show you what it looks like when we've got it all grouped together now that's all the echinopsis all grouped together there all nice and neat and I've left enough space in between each pot so when it comes to repotting them there's going to be um, room because in the past I've pushed everything together and then you go to repot a plant there's no room for it so there's plenty of space there and I'll just show you where we've put the very big echinopsis out here we've got him here um, because he's going to benefit from having the the natural light outside he's going to need to be repotted as well so um, he's better out here so um, now what I'm going to be doing is, as you can see, all of this, this is going to take us probably a good couple of weeks to do, guys. But as I say, little stages. And um, 
I'm going to use this corner then to probably pot the, put some of the um, noto cactus and the Perodia over there. May not be enough space, so probably think of another genus to put there instead. I'll have a little thinky and um, I'll show you what I decide to do. Now guys, that's plant table number three completed. And I think that's going to be it for the night because we've spent all day sort of rearranging everything here. And as I say, this is all the echinopsises, all um, sort of on here. And a lot of these are going to be repotted. This one's very yellow. It's coming into flower buds, so I won't be repotting it now. But it's going to be repotted because it needs obviously more bigger pot and more nutrients. And here we've put a selection of our woolly cacti, <laughs> a selection of a few different things here. Here we have our Espostoa melon, melon, melon steel, which has a little pup growing from the top and a little one from the base there. And um, one of Hansi's um, lovely um, hybrid cloister cacti here. And this one here is a Cephalosaria sinilis, commonly known as the old man cactus because of its lovely woolly hair. But uh, we nickname this uh, Cactus Einstein because of the grey here <laughs> and um here is another another cloister cactus here this is I'll just tell you the proper name of this this is a more more wetsia sericata and obviously it's a um, type of a cloister cactus type of um cactus here and um here is a one of the the Christate ones as well which is really really lovely a lovely cloister cactus strausii Christate and um, as I say, we have a lovely selection there. So that's plant, plant table three done. And um, we have going to put another, uh, obviously, a plant tray here and put the, the rest on all this on the floor. And we still have all the plants in uh, plant room number one and number two to bring out and rearrange. So we're going to be at this quite a few, a good few days, guys. <laughs> and um, obviously, we can just do what we can while the weather's good. And then we're going to sit down now and we're going to back got two baked potatoes on the go me and Hans are going to sit outside on the um, a lovely table outside and sit and have a lovely baked potato and some salad now now there you go guys this is a wonderful end to a fantastic day beautiful beautiful sunny day and a beautiful evening to sit out and enjoy our lovely vegan meal and um, Hans has got himself a couple of cans of Guinness and um, we have a ba I've got my water <laughs> and um, we both have a baked potato with onions and garlic and baked beans and a lovely sesame bagel and buds, and buds on the um, on the pelagonium <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for part part three uh, day day three tomorrow where we're going to be um sorting out more probably going through the agaves the aloes the hawthias and gasterias and grouping all them together in the polytunnel and um me and hansi I want to send you loads of love, heaps, heaps of happiness, and, and tons and tons, tons of, of plant power, power. As always, always from, from Ireland. Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>